welcome back to YouTube. We have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and here is Google Apps updates roundup number 33. In this episode, I'm going to share with you all the new changes that took place in the second and third weeks of September. So without further ado, let's jump in. I will start by talking about Material U because a lot of Google Apps now support the feature. The first one I'm going to show you today is the phone app. Now it matches exactly my device theme that you can see in the quick settings area. And in some cases, you will see different shades of the same color. When you tap on the keypad button, there is a new pill shaped call button instead of the circular one like before. But I think the app has some design issues for the time being. The first one, when you start scrolling, the search bar doesn't disappear. And also there is a white bar at the bottom of the screen. But if we're going to compare it with an app like Gmail, for example, when you start scrolling, the search bar will disappear and also there is no white bar at the bottom. So we should expect further enhancements to the design in the future. So let's wait and see. I also noticed the new animation when you tap on the items in your recent tab. So as you see here, it looks more rounded. And here is how the app looks in dark theme. And this is how the keypad looks like. Let me also show you the call controls in the notifications shade. Here is how it looks in light theme. And this is in dark theme. The second app that got Material U is Google Duo. And here is a side by side comparison with the previous version. The first change is in the search bar is now more rounded and it uses the same accent color of your phone. Uh, in contrast, the new call button is now more rectangular in the new version instead of using the pill shaped design. And here is how it looks when you try to make a new call. So they are exactly the same but with different colors. And here is how it looks in dark theme. The third app I have is Google Drive and as expected the same design language for the navigation bar, the buttons and search. You might see a new animation when you quit the search page like this and also when you switch between tabs. But what's more exciting here is the widget, not the app itself. So let me show you how it looks. The widget looks like a flower, which is the same design we saw in Google's IO event with other widgets as well. From here, you can do a lot of things. Tapping in the center will open the app. And when you tap the plus sign, it will open with the create new card already available. And here, the upload button will take you to the files app to upload any new file. And finally, the search will take you right away to the app search. But what's more exciting here, when you resize the widget, it will change its shape. So when I make it smaller, look what's happening. Now I'm getting a totally different widget. And that will be very useful instead of having multiple widgets listed in the widget speaker. Now you get one and every time you change the size, it will change the look. So let me also show you a third look here when I make it smaller. So this one will only give you the option to upload or open the app. And also when you tap and hold on the widget and enter the editing mode, you will see an edit button here. Tapping on it will show you the list of Google accounts you have on your phone so you can pick the one you want. And here's how the app looks in dark theme and also the widgets. Here's the big one. This is the second design and the third. App number four is calendar. It has pretty much the same design. The only obvious difference here is in the colors and also the plus button. And here's how it looks in the schedule view, the day view, three days, the week view, and finally the month. You should also see different widgets with the new version, starting with the bigger one. It now has one background color for everything and instead of separating the top nav bar with a different color. And here is a plus sign that can allow you to create a new calendar event directly from the widget, which wasn't the case before. And also the grid is now using horizontal and vertical lines instead of horizontal only. Plus the lines are also thicker than the older version. The smaller widget got also redesigned starting with the top nav bar. You will no longer see the name of the day or the day count here. You can only see it in the line items. And we have also the same plus button we saw in the bigger one. Today's date will be highlighted with a circle instead of only a different color like before. And you will see also more padding between the text and the edges of the widget that makes it look better. And it will be more obvious when you make both of them the smallest size possible. As you see here, the text looks better in the newer version because of the more padding it has, while here it's very close to the edge. And here is how it looks in dark theme, the big widget and the smaller one. App number 5, 6 and 7 are Google Slides, Google Sheets and Google Docs. All three share the same exact design, no difference and there are no widgets for them as well. And here is how they look in dark theme, Google Docs, Google Sheets 
and the slides. Next, Google Photos. And it got updated while filming the video, so let's see how it looks side by side with the older version. The first change as expected is in the bottom navigation bar, but it's also taller than the previous version as you see here. And when we go to search, you will see the same more rounded search bar at the top with the material you support. And when we go to any of the photos and the swipe up, you will see more rounded corners here in the info pane. And also the filters at the top are now using a rectangular design instead of a pill shaped design. Under sharing, there is a new shared album button. And when you go to library, the four buttons at the top are no longer using borders and they also support material U, same as the add new album button right here. It's also worth noting that the word Google Photos at the top is now using a smaller font and also the profile picture is smaller. So now let me show you how they look side by side in dark theme. The most notable change here is in the app header. Previously, the word Google Photos and the profile picture have different background color, but now the app header blends nicely with the status bar, which gives you the feeling that the app is filling the entire screen. Also, the borders around the buttons are no longer showing and that makes it look better as well. And when it comes to the app widgets, it's exactly the same one we have, no difference here. Last but not least, Gboard. Now the items in the suggestions strip are using a rectangular shape instead of the pill-shaped design like before. So these are the apps I have for you today when it comes to Material U and that adds up to the previously mentioned apps like for example Gmail, Contacts and so on and so forth. So if you want to know more, check my previous episodes. Next, Google Chrome. And it got the most anticipated feature, especially for Pixel users, which is the long screenshot support. And to be more specific, the feature is up and running now on Chrome Canary, not the stable version. When you open it, tap the three dots at the top right corner, then tap on share, and you will see the long screenshot option right here. Tapping on it will open an in-app window like this. Here you will find two handles at the top and the bottom to expand your selection. And I found this feature to work endlessly. I can capture a whole website in one screenshot if I want. It's not limited only to two or three pages like we saw in other apps. So as you see here, I'm continuing and there is no issues. It doesn't say anything wrong. And once you are happy with your selection, tap the tick sign here and it will collect everything and give you the option to share. When you tap on next, it will ask you what exactly you want to do here. You can share the screenshot directly without saving it to your phone or you can save it to your phone only or delete the screenshot. When you tap on share a screenshot, it will load for a few seconds, then it will show you the share sheet as expected. So I'm gonna try to share it via WhatsApp. But if you take a look here, you will see it has a very poor quality and I cannot read anything from the screenshot. However, if you choose to save it to your phone's gallery, it will be saved in high quality like this one without any issues. So it seems like the feature is incomplete for now. I also found a new flag in the stable version of Google Chrome. It's called Chrome Share Long Screenshots. And once I enabled the switch, now I have the option under my share sheet. But when I tap on it, it will say something went wrong. Please try again. And when you try to expand your selection, nothing happens. Next, Google Photos. And now when you take a video while in the camera tap by pressing and holding on the shutter key like this, when you open this video in Google Photos, you will see these dots showing on top of your progress bar. Each dot represents a recommended shot automatically picked by the AI. And when you start playing the video, the dots will animate nicely with the seek bar like this. And when you pause the video and then put the seek bar exactly under one of these dots, you will get a chip here says export top shots. Tapping on it will automatically take you to this interface to export the shot or you can also expand the info pane and you will see the same thing with the timeline and the dots and when you tap on it it will do the same thing for you and there is a new memory collection called ancient wonders that will include the photos of historical places in your gallery next the files app and now under the clean page when you tap on the delete duplicates card the app will label the original photos using this small chip to give you an idea which one is the duplicate. The second change is under settings. When you go to settings, now there is a new option called smart storage. As per the description, this option will automatically delete any media backed up to your Google Photos after 60 days. Next, the Google app. And the first change is under the discover feed. I took a screenshot earlier for a new colorful discover more card that didn't show before. And if we're gonna take a look here at the old design on my Pixel 5, 
this is how it used to look like the second change in google app is under settings now you will see a new menu item called personal results tapping on it will explain to you how google uses your data to show you personal results and you can turn the feature off if you want google assistant settings also got some changes and the first one is under the voice match page here you will see two new tabs, one for this phone and one for other devices. You will also see the same under the personal results page, a tab for your phone and one for other devices with an extra button here says turn off personal results for all devices. And for iOS 15 users, now you will see more widgets from Google Apps. And the first one is for Google Photos. There are three different sizes and all of them will view your memories. The second one is for YouTube Music. And here you will see also three different sizes and it will show here your likes and the recently played songs. Next, YouTube on desktop. Now when you hover your mouse over any video on your home screen, the video will pop out and it will start playing automatically. From here you can mute or unmute the video, activate or deactivate the captions, add the video to your watch later list or add to queue. You can also tap the ellipses button and you will get even more options. You will also see new options under your profile picture. The first one is the appearance where you can choose light theme or dark theme. The second one will allow you to change the language. The third one is for changing YouTube location. And the last one is keyboard shortcuts, which will show you all the shortcuts you can use with YouTube to make your life easier while watching videos. Also at the top right corner, all the icons are now outlined with a new app icon that will allow you to go to YouTube TV, YouTube Music, YouTube kids and more and for pixel users there are three new wallpapers under the curated culture category to celebrate the hispanic heritage month they are the first three at the top not only this but xda developers managed to get their hands on the pixel 6 wallpapers and they are available for download in high resolution there are two variants for each wallpaper one is light theme and one is dark theme and also different resolutions and you will find the download link in the description below and one more wallpaper discovered by 925 google and they found it in what they call android 12.1 you will also find the download link in the description below. And finally, Pixel users in Canada can now use the Hold For Me feature of Google Assistant. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Google Apps I spotted in the second and third weeks of September. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.